New resolution, new mind, business ideas comes up and everything goes well. It's your girl Pauline here with another 2020 recap video. So guys, if you're new here, kindly subscribe and like. As usual, my family, let's keep going. So guys, I'm going to give you a recap of my 2020, how it started and how it ended. 2020 has been hard for each and everyone and so guys as you know we all make new resolutions we plan ahead for how our year is going to end and how our year is going to go through so starting it up we know as always we always say this year i'm going to add new people this year i'm going to drop fake friends this year i'm going to start a business or i'm going to focus more on my business this year i'm going to travel this year i want this and that and that and in all that one year 365 days we have so much that we've planned for and so this is how mine went so back in 2019 december 25th we traveled to tanzania where we had fun until the second day until the second of january and that's when our minds heated us up that we had to go back to nairobi and start the hustle as usual so this is <laughs> enjoyed everything oh my god as you've seen i'd miss and love to go back there have some fun and visit more places that i didn't go by then so 2nd of january we all traveled back to nairobi we spent our holiday well and as usual we had to sit down and rethink of how we're going to run our 2020 business plan and this is how it started we had an idea of giving our best stuff for the 2019 uh, a holiday to mombasa a three day full paid and a full paid trip to mombasa through sgr so we had the plans and all these went up well we planned everything and as usual i also had a plan of taking my husband for his birthday to dubai we also had another trip that we had to go in april yeah to masai mara so all these are the dreams that i had and the plans that i had to say for to make sure that everything goes as planned so this is my premises this is where i work i love this place with my entire heart and I cherished it a lot. As you can see, it's a very nice place. On 17th of January, I woke up as usual, a happy person as usual, smiling, having fun, and enjoying the day. So I started the day as usual by having an order. So it was on a Friday, and each and every Friday we used to have so many orders we had to supply. So we had to do that, we had to cook, prepare everything, pack our meals, and as usual, deliver our packages to the people or our clients that we had. On that day, I felt something funny. So I left my staff and told them, as usual, how Africans we tell people, just be left, don't do anything, have fun. When it gets to 9 p.m., even don't close. At around, at around 11, at around 11 p.m., at night my next my neighbor called me up and told me uh, my next neighbor called me up and told me you know what something funny is happening in your place can you come and open the shop it's burning i kind of didn't understand i thought it was a prank and i ignored the call later another person called me and told me your hotel is burning so guys and open the place so that we can save something 
I was so shocked. I was so tensed. I didn't know what to do. I just sat there and froze. But my husband decided to just run out and go and save the situation. So he left me there, shocked, worried. By the time I came back to my senses, I would just see him driving off the gate and he had left, going towards the place, going, going towards the business so that at least he can be able to save people's life and also save the situation down there. I cried. I had nothing else to do. I had to scream, shedding tears, but I had nothing else to do. I didn't give up. I just said, it's the will of God. Maybe everything had a reason and purpose to why it happens. So I didn't give up. I, I, I was so stressed. Yes, I was so stressed. I was so depressed. I felt as if the world has come to an end. I felt as if my dreams have come to the end. But having a partner who gives you the morale and psych to push on in life makes you understand and makes you comfortable. At the end of the day, you tend to push and try to forget what just happened. So you have to, you have, you, you fell, you have to understand yourself and march forward. So we decided to start another business and this time around it was not a food industry business but we started a beauty shop. Yes, my husband gave me money. I went shopping and I did all the shopping that I wanted for the things that I could get cheaply here in Kenya. So guys, I did my shopping and went back home. After three days, there were rumors of corona and everything that had come up. So we thought everything would be fine. Nothing would be affected. And we went on with our lives. Only to realize Uhuru came up with a lockdown. Corona had started killing and destroying everything. All the businesses that people had started fading away. People lost their businesses. So many people lost their jobs. So many people lost their family. So many people killed themselves because of the depression. We didn't have anywhere to go to so pauline is here lost the first business this is the second business she's starting and guys i had to sell all my things that i'd bought in the house in fact come to think of it people can do online businesses yes i said online don't think it's a must you have a shop so that you can start your business no, you can do your business anywhere, anytime, without even paying a dime to the owner of the shop. As long as you're comfortable, you have an internet and you have a phone, you can do your business. So guys, I started an online business where I was to sell the products I have to my neighbors and also to my friends. I would sometimes advise it in Facebook and in my Instagram. And sometimes I would post it in my status so people saw and people bought about they bought things for me which i enjoyed so much in the verge of corona so many things came up i decided to join the journey of fitness and so i joined my husband in training yes he had a channel so i joined in we would do fitness together i would train i would do videos i would help him shoot that's when i came to learn how to shoot videos how to edit videos and even how to do different shots of the videos yes so this became fun i didn't want to do anything else but i only wanted to know more about youtube i wanted to know more of editing and i wanted also to be an expert of doing things in youtube I'm not perfect in exercises or doing things perfectly no i had challenges starting was a problem but at the end of the day I came to realize that if you push yourself and have focus, you're going to achieve it. So I achieved my fitness journey. Yeah, I tried everything my best. I pushed myself. I was so pushed and I did it. If you can see my videos, you'll think that I'm an expert. But no, it just came from my heart and out of willingness, I came to learn about fitness. So guys, without giving up, I stayed at home and I had to be a um, housewife. I did all the chores in the house, I enjoyed my time with my family, and everything was so perfect. Little did I know that being a housewife or doing things at home, it would be fun. So I woke up as usual, did my work, and at the end of the day, I would come up with a different idea each and every day of doing each and every different thing. But voila, I didn't have much 
to do it. So guys, I came to realize that without finances, you cannot do anything. But at the end of the day, without finances, you can think of something, implement something, share the idea with someone and come up with a good thing. Yeah, you can come up with a good deal. 2020 has shown me so many things. I've met so many different type of people and I've mingled with so many people with different minds and different mindsets. Yes, I met these two type of ladies. Yes, they became my friends. We shared a lot. We started. They encouraged me. Pauline, you can do it. Pauline, you can achieve. Start your own channel. And I didn't give up on them. So I started my channel and I called it Simple Lady Pain. And this is the channel. So I enjoyed it. Okay, the birth of Simple Lady P came up that most of the time when we travel with my husband because we love traveling, we used to take videos of so many places we have gone, so many type of foods we have eaten, beautiful cinetic places. And guys, at the end of the day, when we came editing the video, we didn't show you all that fun that we had behind the scene. So we only show you about fitness and the rest could just go unnoticed. So I thought of starting this channel whereby I'm going to give you uh, the tours and the beautiful places, the meals, different cultural meals, different lifestyle of people and my own. And also at the end of the day, we're going to travel and show you places that we visit. So that's why I decided of coming up with a channel of Simple Lady P that entails food, lifestyle and travel. We're almost getting to the end of 2020 and as usual everybody was yearning and longing for the 2021 okay as usual we're going to make new resolutions but what can i say just have faith and pray to god that things goes well as you want them to but you know god has his own mind we have to do things on a different way i'm not saying that you're not going to make plans and say for the year or make new resolutions no you can make your own resolutions you can come up with your own ideas of doing things and whatever you want it done but remember as you do this put god first so guys that was my 2020 i know i'm going to achieve the very best of 2021 i'm enjoying it already i'm seeing the fruits already so guys let's do this together and remember as you make your resolution put god first because without him Nothing will happen. And remember to always be sane and enjoy yourself.